Cheers from Nuke to London, home of the best three-eyed fish and chips in the Milky Way. The Hatriots hooligans have been drinking all morning here outside Flemley Stadium, and they are ready for blood. Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The New York Tyrants go up against the New London Hatriots. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If the sound of a torn Achilles followed by laughter and taunting brings a smile to your face, you are tuned to the right place. Hi everyone, Grim Blitzrow and the MFL crew is coming to you live on game day. Bricks, any uh, thoughts on today's game? Um, I thought I had one, but uh, I think I might have forgotten it. Oh, I remember. Uh, I forgot who's playing today. Careful what you asked for, Grim. And it's first and ten. Uh, uh. his way out of that tackle. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Second down and ten. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Third down and six. <laughs> no, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. Oh, it's a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in fantasy league. Second down and ten. Oh, the strawberry feels dirty trick. As my mentor Humphrey used to say, I don't advocate drugs, alcohol, narcotics, or insanity to anyone, but they've always worked for me. Third down and, well, good luck. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and he got it off. That's a decent punt. Nice catch, and he turns it on the afterburners. Ouch! Anyone in the mood for a steak tartare? First and ten. And he laterals the ball. Man, these guys like playing high risk ball. Second down and long. He had it for a second there. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. He 
and he put all of his foot into that one. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. A nice run there for eight yards. Second down and two. Second down and a lot. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Second down in a mile. Cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's gonna have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And the punter has one job to do, and that's punt the ball. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says we'll take it. And it's first and ten. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Second down and six. Scrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. First down. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. You gotta keep them guessing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And so at the end of the first quarter, we've got a scoreless game. And it's first and ten. And he runs it for four yards. Second down and six. You'll be in the nuts. Yeah, good point, Junior. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Now well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on the air. 
Takes the punt and looks for open field. Hey, that's all things, man. You got to play the car stop. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. Mistakes here, just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed, it was a chip wearing a wig. First and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Second down and ten. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. Four. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. Good thing you know. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. I'm not saying the rap has been rhymed, but he drove out of the field in a brand new purse. First and, long. and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down in a mile. Run right there. 
Hey, speaking of huge runs, Fritz, why don't you put a cork in that gravy make your ears, huh? Hey, I'm dying up here. Bricks, it's the two-minute warning. You know what that means? Whiskey? Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. This guy's gonna get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Third down and forever. Nice run for five yards. They quickly call a timeout, hoping to save some time for their offense. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. They let the punt drop and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and 10. Cleared the field for the receiver. Anyone in the mood for Newton Tartar? Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Glenn. But it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. Don't worry. It, Bricks. That was a screwed up play if I ever saw one. And he's off to the races. The 30. The 20. The 10. Touchdown! Listen to his fans howl. They love him. He came up as a teenage werewolf in the Mutant Farm League. I don't know if he's dancing or just marking his territory. uses a time warp dirty trick to erase that last play. I think all those team physicists really paid off. And you said they were crazy. It's a set. There's no reason to drop the ball if you're still alive. The defense comes up with the ball. And like Bricks and Bowles, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. He's at the 10. Holy mother of mutant mayhem, he scored. And viewers at home, don't worry, he doesn't have fleas. He's just not a very good dancer. I have fleas and I can't I would uh, think you to stay on the other side of the booth, Bricks. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. <laughs> and it's first and ten. your buzz on in the MFL. Hey, timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. Second down and five. First and ten. <laughs> it 
It's a tie game at the end of quarter two. The teams are deadlocked in a fierce struggle today. We'll be right back with today's halftime show brought to you by Monsatan Industries. Eat their delicious Franken food. Hey, throw in the half. Can you pick me up a soy like beer? And they're taking the field for the second half, and we have got a tie score. Uh, speaking of tie, Grim, me and Hot Wanda, we wanted to try something different, so we tied each other up the other night, and nothing happened because we were both tied up. I don't understand what the big deal is. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Not much there, maybe a yard. to get rid of the ball there. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. He dropped it. If he does that again, the guy told me today, Bricks, he had to step up his game. Not only did he step up there, he blew up. <laughs> nice extra effort. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. And that's why they call it the money shot. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you, and the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. They call the war speed dirty brick. He's so fast he wants oh and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit it sounds like my off season second down and five and this guy runs angry and runs hard first down First and ten. <laughs> Second down and more than the QB would like. That run is good for nine yards. Third and two. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So was that cheerleader. Man, this coach must have played too many video games. You got to punt it here. Come on. hit that one and that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size because he just walked all over him
And it's first and ten. And that play went nowhere fast. No gain. Second down and ten. Third down and long. And they call a ginormous dirty trick. It's so big that the last time he saw 90210 was on the bathroom scale. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They just be called. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one time thing. First and ten. And the defense calls a strawberry field's dirty trick. Now this takes me back to those crazy days of my youth, Bricks. <laughs> Good times. And that's how you get your buzz on in the NFL. Matt, I'm two fifths into this bottle of scotch. Second down and nine. Quarter three comes to an end, but this game is far from over and will be decided in the final quarter. Second down and nine. Call that about a six yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Say what? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. You understand me? You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. The return man catches the ball and heads up field. Ouch! What is this? Andy's wrestling? And it's first and ten. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if it and the ref.
ref is picking up a wad of singles as he runs off the field. How do you think he got those, Grim? Didn't you see him stripping on the sidelines? Yeah. He's bribed, you idiot. First down and long. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down and forever. And he rumbles for big yardage on that play. They're back in business, Bricks. My mom told me to stay out of other people's businesses, Grim. Second down in a mile. Great catch for a big game. But still not enough for a first. Even I'm frustrated, and I'm a team agnostic. Third down and three. Oh, with a punishing hit, the quarterback goes down. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, do well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on the air. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. And this guy's like a human cannonball. First down. Yeah, my next door neighbor was a human cannonball, Grim. He drowned in his pool. And it's first and ten. And this guy is supercharged with electricity. Devastating hit, knocked the ball loose. And the defense recovers the ball. He broke free and has open field in front of him. <laughs> I feel like I've been here before. Is this deja vu? This is like our Brazilian season, dumbass. Actually, I think he's talking about the time more dirty trick that the defense just played. Still a dumbass, though. And that'll bring up second and one. Just follow the bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. First down! He hit that line the way a rolled up down the field. Sticking out of flimsy Lohan's nose. It's a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. And it's first and ten. And he zings it in there for a nine-yard completion. They are moving the ball now with authority. And that'll bring up second and one. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. First and ten. They called a tap attack. Oh, and the defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Banji. The new game from Wilton Crabtree. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. The 10. And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown. It should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. 
When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, man, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. And this guy is making a name for himself tonight with a pickup of about 10 on that play. Hey, it makes up. But the offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stupid time. That's why the girls call me. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. The QB saved some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. He rifled that one in there, and they come up with 10 yards on the play. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, see that Prince and his girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. And the hurry up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Defensive play that was, Briggs. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Well, that play didn't work. They'll have to rethink that. Second down and ten. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. Third and two. The offense has an uphill battle, and it all starts with making this first down. You have to admire their fighting spirit. It's stupid. And the team refuses to quit. They stay alive with four new downs. And it's first and ten. I just may be in commentary, but I thought you were supposed to throw the ball forward. Uh, the Patriots go down in defeat. And let's go down to the field and hear the MVP. He's a real role model for the kids, Bricks. That is, if you want your kids to be a roid raging narcissist with uncontrollable verbal diarrhea. Well, that personality disorder has a name. It's called autotropism. Yeah, man, I was hanging on the now. You know <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...